Hi, I'm Sandy Anderson, and welcome to my favorite vacation place. Well, I don't think you're going to be surprised. It's Las Vegas. How can you not like it? I enjoy letting loose, having fun, hanging with friends. We laugh, we cry, we gamble, we swim, we drink, we shop, but we go to just let loose and rekindle our friendship. You know, I've had the same friends for many, many years and it's so much fun just to hang out with them for a few days and let all our troubles go away. But before that, I would like to share a little information about Las Vegas and the history behind it, as in Fremont Street. Fremont Street was established in 1931. Small little street with a few casinos like Binion's, Golden Nugget, to name a few. But what's nice about Fremont Street is you have something going on all the time. You have concerts by local bands most of the time. You have musicians. Um, you have street, like street art. You have uh, little magic shows. Um, Halloween, people dress up. And they have a bunch of different things going on down there where um, they do some comedy acts or just a lot of vendors selling little antiques or they're selling souvenirs, whatever the case. But there's always something going on on Fremont Street. And it's old casinos and you can smell the, the mildew <laughs> inside the casino. You can see the history on the walls. And it just something that you wouldn't expect. Um, you can feel the, the eeriness of this is what everybody at that time period observed or enjoyed. And now, you know, 2020, you get to still enjoy it. But before all that happened, you had places like the El Cortez that the mobsters owned, organized crime, Myers Lansky, Bugsy Siegel, to name a few. These individuals, they went into Las Vegas. They brought their, their women, their drugs, their alcohol, and all of it was illegal. But they wanted to make money quick, and what did they do? Yeah, they invested a lot of money, but yet they were ran out of town eventually. You know, you have a lot of individuals like Frank Sinatra or Bing Crosby, the Rat Pack, you know, they came to Vegas. They put on shows in these hotels and they made Vegas what it is today. Elvis Presley, a good example. How could you not want to see Elvis Presley? But things have changed. And now in 2020, not only is it for adults, but it's also for children. Children now can go to Circus Circus and ride so many different roller coasters. They have Ferris wheels. They have water rides. And of course, swimming. You can even bring your pet if you want. A lot of these places have pet-friendly hotels. And I'm talking the Luxor or um, Bello, uh, Bellagio, a couple of them. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do there. And you can have it as a family vacation. I like it because I just let loose and have a good time and could care less about my life at home. And I think a lot of people do that because they need somewhere to get away. You can have weddings. A lot of people go there and, hey, why not? Just go have the wedding and enjoy yourself. There's your vacation, your honeymoon, your wedding all wrapped up in one. Heck, you can even get married at a drive through McDonald's if you wanted to, believe it or not. But again, you have shopping. You have tennis, you have golf, horseback riding, the Grand Canyon, you know, the Hoover Dam. And not even an hour away, you have California. You can go to the Magrig Diner, which is a Greek restaurant halfway there. And there's a lot of casinos along that way. But no matter what you do and when you do it, I suggest going to Vegas. You, you can't win by not going. Let's put it that way having fun, letting loose, forgetting your worries. I love it. So many other people love it. Try it. 
you know, what do you have to lose? You know, what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. And as Elvis Presley said, Viva Las Vegas, baby. Try it. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it.